Welcome, folks. This is the latest edition of the Maximum Member Highlight, and today I'm joined by none other than Miss Kathy Canavan. Welcome, Miss Kathy. How are you today? Thank you, Matthew. I am fine. Absolutely. And I'm probably the only person in the gym that calls you Matthew. Ma well, you just... know, there's only a few. I would say <laughs> uh, my wife has called me, depending on the situation, by that name. I had one. I had one math teacher in school that he always called me Matthew. I don't know why, but I hadn't been called that in a while. I guess I've been acting right. <laughs> so we're going to jump straight into this. We had a conversation the other day that was really good. Tell us about, tell everybody out there in social media land, what's the deal with Sunday brunch and, and, and Sunday, Sunday after lunch? lunch? House. Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell us about that. For years, I don't know how many, we have had the same lunch on Sunday. Milton has perfected making tuna salad. Oh my gosh, I love it. We always use white chunk albacore. Uh -huh. It's very particular. It's uh -huh. got to be that. And he puts all sorts of things in it. And then we make a salad. We put our greens, our yeah. lettuces, our peppers, our whatever we want on our salads. I personally put my tuna on top of my salad and mix it all up. He makes his tuna over here in his salad. Oh, he has to have here. it sectioned. He has to have it separate. But wow. Yeah, we have done that for years, and it is our favorite. I think meal that is really neat. That is really neat. You know, one one thing too that that, that uh, I talk obviously being in a gym, I talk to people all the time about food, and I think we had maybe a I don't know, it's probably a ten or twelve minute conversation about tuna salad. Yeah. So it's, how long did it take him? Just out of curiosity, how long did it take him to get it perfected? Well, gee, that's hard to say since we've been married for 33 years. <laughs> uh, really not long. Once he gets the hang of what he wants in it, you yeah. know, and, and I'm okay with it. Yeah, he's good. He's, good. He's pretty good in the kitchen. Well, Although that's good. I tell him I wish I had a stainless steel kitchen when he gets through so I could just hose it all down. Oh, wow. But, you know, he, 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 just, he is a good cook. He's one of those that throws it left yes. and right yeah. and got you. Got you. Well, I guess the bottom line, as long as it's good. I could deal with that anyway. <laughs> so, so I've learned to open the tuna fish myself. <laughs> ah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So speaking of food, um, you have been a regular here at Maximum Health and Fitness for many, many years, yeah. and I always, always look forward to seeing you and Mr. Milk coming in the come in the door. One of the questions that I almost always ask when we do these interviews is is about food, and I get different points of view from different people of mm -hmm. different ages and whatnot yeah. and so what is your what does your day look like food wise talk about that a little bit well let me say first what you said about getting different points of view from mm -hmm. I think everybody's body is different absolutely I don't think you can say everybody works well on this diet everybody yeah. works well on you got to figure out what works well for you very well said and for me I, I gotta have some fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. I, I just got to it's yeah. the water content yeah it's um so i always have some fruits and vegetables every day i do not eat all plant-based food i eat a, as much of it as i can mm -hmm. but i have discovered that all plant-based doesn't work for me mm -hmm. i've got to have some meat in yeah there somewhere yeah it's interesting you say that because that is one of the things that i've told people for years is hey man i need to lose a quick 10 pounds or whatever or a quick 15 pounds i've had it for for years you know the gym's the gym's been open since june of 2004 and i wish i had a dollar for every time somebody's asked me that and i've responded pretty much the same way every time exactly what you just said so i won't repeat it but you got to figure out what's best for you because it doesn't always work but right. um so are, are you a breakfast person or I am. you know what is a what, what, what was for breakfast this morning breakfast for the mor this morning was um some blueberries and strawberries mm. a little bit of cottage cheese Really? One multigrain waffle with some peanut butter on it. Oh, I love and peanut honey. butter. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've said this on this podcast, but one of my weaknesses is peanut butter. <laughs> I really have to limit that. But yeah. but uh, my daughter, that's funny, too, that you say that. My daughters are, are a fan of, if they just get the regular whole grain waffles or whatnot, mm -hmm. it depends on what type it is. If you have the chocolate chip, they don't want peanut butter on it. But if you do have the chocolate chip, then that little, little extra... It's mm, mm. my girls are a little bit picky, but that's all right. That's, <laughs> that's no okay. that's no problem. That's okay. So do you have um do you have something that's kinda like a go to meal for you that's quick, like you're on the run, busy? Is there something you know you can always fall back on? No, I can't say that there is. It's yeah. hard hard thing on your run is finding something that's healthy correct. to eat. That's correct. That's a very if I'm out running errands in the afternoon I have trouble thinking. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm a little hungry. What can I eat? Yeah. Not, yeah. So are you a are you a preparation lady? Or are you or or no, what's the? Not too much. Uh, yeah. Uh, best weeks are when I have the menu planned out ahead of time. Nice. But I, that doesn't happen often. But that is that's the best scenario. Yeah. I, I, planned. I, for sure, that's the best way to do it. If you can get past the. Okay, I've got to do this today. Whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I when people plan their food out and plan out their all of the nutritional needs it is a huge plus it mm -hmm. it is because it, it i mean is. for a lot of people it's a challenge it is a big challenge it's a it's a big especially the especially the ones that come in and have struggled with their weight that that's one of the things that i always get oh i hate doing this i hate doing that you know what suggestion would you have for a person uh plant planning wise what is the best way you have found when you do plan out your food how do you what's the process look like with that I would sit down on a Saturday or Sunday to plan the next week's, you mm -hmm. know, and just, I, I try to think of something different because you don't want the same thing. Although Correct. I did tell Milton Sunday, I said, I wish we had a meal every week, every night, night of the week that we liked as much as we liked this one. Isn't that crazy? You know? But <laughs> yeah, if you can sit down and plan your meals, it helps with your grocery shopping too. Correct. Because you don't go in and just willy-nilly buy whatever you random think. stuff yeah. mm -hmm. well that's a good that's an excellent point of view you know think planning it out could save you some money as well it does. wow yeah. that's interesting I, I have that's a that's a very very good point of view um so let's change gears here just a little bit okay. so you one of the things that i told mr milt the other day when he was on the mic with matt here is one of the one day i was walking through the gym and you were back there on the weight floor area and i just kind of glanced over and looked to the right and you were down on the floor just doing push-ups, just doing push-ups, and that thoroughly impressed me because outside of Miss Sydney here is who is assisting us with this video mm -hmm. process, there's not many ladies that come in here who can just do push-ups like you, like I saw you doing. So, how how did you get to that point where you? That was a personal challenge. Wow, really? I wanted to be able to do push-ups. Well, you so, were doing them. So I, and every now and then, I still. Get on the board in here and <laughs> well, do some push-ups. That's because, excellent. I should have planned ahead and, to get. <laughs> and you know, there's girl push-ups. Yes. Where you can do them on your knees. Yeah. I wanted to do guy push-ups. Yes. Well, I should have been so. clear with that. What I was just saying because <laughs> she was doing the real deal push-up, not just one of these girl push-ups or whatever. <laughs> uh, of course, I've seen some guys do the girl push-ups too. So um, that that even impressed me even more because again, that's not something you normally see in a gym or anywhere. Outside of Instagram or Facebook, maybe. Well, it's just, it was just a personal challenge. It's one of those things where you see something that you want to do, yeah. whether it's in the gym or out there in life. Correct. And you think, I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. Yeah. You just work at it. That's awesome. Until you can get there. So what other, let's just, just throw this go out on a tangent here. Uh, what other personal <laughs> challenges have you come up with in the gym? I'm, I'm curious now. In the gym? Just throw, if you got one that pops in. Matt, the gym is always a challenge to me. <laughs> the, and I've been a gym rat for 38 years. Wow. Because I started when I was 27. Uh-huh. And I'm 65 now, so. Excellent. So, But it's always been a challenge. It's uh -huh. never been like, oh, easy, go to the gym, yeah. you know. Yeah. No. When I was working, it was great at the end of the day to relieve whatever happened at work yes you know, it was, it's a great stress relief correct if anybody doesn't believe that it is because you come in here and you're thinking about surviving you're not thinking yeah. about what happened to you during the day <laughs> good point good point so uh, i don't know where i was going with that yeah so. it's okay that's all right i have people that come in the gym and, and you know automatically that they're not here to talk and whatnot and and that uh i had one lady that i might have said this in a previous uh video that we did was that she comes she says i come in here so i don't kill somebody <laughs> it's yeah. kind of it's kind of funny how the, the the workout process can relieve a little bit of stress and you know um physical mental emotional it all improves it as soon as you walk out you may not want to do anything when you come in here but the minute you walk out you're glad you came in Very and did a little much. something so yes, uh, uh, yes. that's and awesome Working out with personal trainers is also a challenge. Mm -hmm. It was for me, mm -hmm. and uh, it still is. And you've got some good trainers. Yeah, they so they challenge you. They do, and that's that's good that you don't. It's harder to do it by yourself. Correct, really. correct. That, that's an investment that I have always. If a person struggles and they continually struggle, um, you know, you, you have people that come in here and ask for workouts, ask for, and we can design all that for them. But it's, the accountability part, when you have to hold yourself accountable, it's a challenge. A personal trainer is mm -hmm. always an excellent option because 
you're paying for it. Right. There's value created. And then once you see that first, it's amazing, man or woman, because most people want to lose weight when they come in here. The first two or three pounds a person loses, it's like they have lost 30. It's unbelievable. And then all of a sudden, they're motivated. They do more. Yeah. So that's an excellent point that you bring up. It helps. It helps you get past that. So so what's your, uh, what's your workout going to consist of today at Maximum Health and Fitness? I will do about 10 to 15 minutes of warm-up cardio, and then I'll do probably an hour of weight training and then finish with another 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. Excellent. It yeah. usually takes me about an hour and a half to nice. do what I do at the gym. You should be able to get it done in an hour and a half for sure, no doubt. So you're a, you're a free weight lady, I, mm -hmm. if, if, if I correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen you back there with some dumbbells. And what is um, what is your favorite exercise in the gym? If you had to pick a favorite, let's get specifics, upper body exercise, what would be a? Oh, upper body is arm curls. Arm curls. Yeah. Nice. Dumbbells specifically or barbell? Dumbbells. Dumbbells. All right. What about lower body? My least favorite is squats, that's what everybody has to do. <laughs> you have to do squats if you go to the gym. Yeah, correct. Well, it's, it's, uh, it is a lot of people's least favorite, but it's amazing, too, how I many you, you'll hear s two say that they absolutely love it because a squat is, you know, if you're not going to do anything in the gym, a squat would be one I would suggest doing for sure. Yeah, so, they're, they're hard. That's but, funny. But I would rather use the weight machines for my mm -hmm. legs yeah. than doing squats. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's more controlled. Uh, the, I, I think the main thing is that you're doing something. Um, a lot of people, unless you have a, a crazy goal, I think the main thing is just get in the gym and do something. Figure out if it's right for you. It's kind of like going back to your food and right. what you're talking about with your food is, is just see if it works for you. You, uh, you know, there's right. no person that can answer every question when, as soon as you walk in the door. You're going to have to get in and put your hands on some stuff, put your yeah. legs on the yeah. machines and do all that good stuff. And there are certain weights that feel right. Correct. And some machines that you just know that not that doesn't fit my body. Correct. You know. So Correct. Well, that that's one of the things that we've tried to do over the years is make sure that we have enough machines um, in case another machine of similar type or a free weight area is is covered up that we have another options for you. So, yeah. um, what would again? What would you? Uh, let's let's talk specifically with fitness and health here. We we talked briefly before we started this video. If the 2020 Miss Kathy Canavan were to give the 20 year old Kathy Canavan a piece of fit health or fitness advice, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? Be consistent. Go to the gym and don't be afraid of it. Wow. Uh, especially don't be afraid of it. I've had women tell me over the years, "Oh, I couldn't go to the gym." But there are men in there. There, you know, they might. <laughs> They might look at you. They might not. Yeah. You know? yeah. But either way, I'm not going for that reason. Correct. You know, you just Correct. You go for yourself. Correct. And so, yeah, you just got to be consistent about it, though, anything you do. Absolutely. Whether it's your healthy eating or your healthy living or, yeah. Correct. You know, one of the one of the funny things to, to jump off that, jump on a tangent a little bit on that, too, is that I've always said that, when people are intimidated to come look to come in the gym and they feel like it's uncomfortable for whatever reason, that's that's a, that's self doubt, obviously in my mind. When, yeah. when but most people are looking at themselves in a gym. It's kind of ironic that. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, got a gym member hollering at me. Uh, but one of the, one of the ironic things is is that if you just start, it's it gets in one of these situations where it's it's. It changes the more you get comfortable with it because you're going to have anxiety coming in any any new any place new. if you know what I'm saying. So, yes. so when, when you when you just decided 38 years ago you're going to start working out, what 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 was your mindset? Just I'm just going to do it. I'm just doing it. Yes, and and at that age it was it wasn't as much fear. Yeah. I think as you get older. Yeah. You tend to um, I don't know overthink. Yeah. Yeah, it it really, it, you know, the thing is, is it, it really is a simple process. You know, that's one of the things, uh, I, I, guess, I guess I was fortunate to have a dad that was like, if he can do it, I can do it. That was something that was relayed to me at a very, very young age. And I, I there were things that, that brought up anxiety and, you know, made me a little bit nervous or whatnot. But I think hearing him say that over the years, he was like, no, if he can do it, exactly. I can do it, which means yeah. that you can do it, do it. Right. You know, so I guess the Nike slogan, just do it, is a perfect is a perfect example of that. Fear stops people from doing all sorts of things. It, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. So, what about, um, what about, what is your opinion? Now, you come in here by yourself a lot, right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, what is your opinion of finding a workout partner and how that would help improve a person's chances of coming in the gym regularly? Well, like I said, you've got some nice, good trainers, mm -hmm. and they're very helpful. So, and if somebody, I think if you came in the gym regularly, like mm -hmm. I do, that you could hook up with somebody. You Correct. could find a workout partner. Correct. You could, I just haven't because my I come at such a different time. Yeah. But like you said about accountability, it's it's good if you do work out with somebody because you know I got to go to the gym at 10 o'clock. That's right. You That's don't right. say, oh, I can go to the gym later and end up not going. I'll go at 2. Yeah. And then don't go. Then don't go. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have a Monday, Which is right? very, very easy to do. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. So um, this is my favorite part of the interview. I've said that every time I've done one of these videos. So um, – if these are have nothing to do with fitness, I'm just curious about these. I like asking these questions and whatnot. So, Miss Kathy, if somebody, if somebody were to play you in a movie, who would that person be, and why? Well, I told you <laughs> a few minutes ago. There's a person in our yoga class, which I thoroughly enjoy. Our yoga uh -huh. class. It keeps telling me that she that I remind her of Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> That's I, I don't see it myself, but. I guess if I was going to pick an actress for her acting ability, it would be Meryl Streep. Ooh, that's a good one. She's really phenomenal. She's been as an she's actress. been in a lot of really good movies, yeah, no doubt, good. no doubt. Um, so I've already asked you the question about the 2020 Kathy Canavan giving advice to the 20 year old Kathy yeah. Canavan. Um, what was the other question I said I was going to forget? I've drawn a blank. I've drawn a blank here. What well, I forgot what the other one was. I was going to ask you something else. It was, um, well, I've drawn a blank. I, I remember what you asked Milton, but that's not fair because I've been thinking, if they'd asked me that, what would I say? Uh, let's, let's compare. <laughs> I think that's a great idea, and you have saved me here because I just completely, I'm hungry. I've drawn a blank. So what what, what did you, I ask him? You asked him if he was on an airplane for 10 hours oh, yes. with somebody. That's a great question. Who, who would you want to sit by? I, I would want to sit by Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Interesting. She just inspires me. She's uh, she is phenomenal. She is. She, why, why she's one of those down to earth. You'd never know it by looking at the woman. <laughs> but she is so she's so real. Yeah. You know. She yeah. Is. yeah. Well, she she's a uh, she is a definite. She was in our in our uh, on our television growing up. Was we we watched all the we only had three channel three five and seven growing up. Oh yeah. And Hee Haw and all the one all the shows like that were were on and I saw Dolly regularly. And, and I will say, when I was growing up, I wasn't impressed with Dolly, but the older you get, the more yeah. you appreciate. Well, she's been able to perform. She's done wonders for yeah. a lot of people, and yeah. Yeah, she does. Uh, she has a she has a, the little book club thing. Yes, What's it called? Library. There you go. There you go. My my daughters have uh, used that uh, many many yeah. times. We've started reading with with uh, with those books a lot. So yes. anyway, yeah. well, Miss uh, Miss Kathy, what what's uh, why maximum? Give me, throw me out a throw me out. I guess it's just trying to get a shout out here for maximum. What what's why maximum health and fitness? Oh, several reasons. One is that we live south. Correct. So it's com more convenient for us to come here than to drive mm -hmm. all the way out north in the heavy traffic and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's convenient for us. It's also home-like. Well, good. It's, you know, it's a comfortable gym. It's not intimidating when you come in here, I don't think. Uh, like some of the big gyms, mm -hmm. you walk in and you see rows and rows of machines, and if you don't know how to use them, yeah. that's pretty intimidating. Correct. So yeah, it's not intimidating. It's very comfortable. Well, good. Well, good. Well, I appreciate that. Was that was unheard? We didn't rehearse that at all. <laughs> well, Miss Kathy, I appreciate I appreciate you taking the time to sit down here with me. I, I, I we're going to make sure that Mr. Milt. I'm going to ask him about him when, once he watches this video. I'm going to give his get, let him critique it. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> He's always entertaining. So I I, I look that. forward to hearing what he has to say. He'll probably have to add something to the tuna salad comments that we've made again. Kathy, you forgot to say this, yeah, or you probably, forgot to say probably. that. But I'll, I'll suggest again, once again, uh, Mills, I want to try it. So if you could just save me like a bite or two, that'd be great. So <laughs> anyway, well, I appreciate you coming on today. It's all, I always look forward to You're you welcome. and Mr. Milk coming in. and and uh, We appreciate uh, you too, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, if you 
want to jump on this mic where Miss Kathy is sitting right now and get on the mic with Matt, I need you to send me a message because I want to sh- I want to share more stories just like Miss Kathy's with the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube communities. And our whole goal here is to say, Miss Kathy, thank you for coming in here. You're you're, you're an inspiration to a lot of people oh. because you're consistent. You're you can do a a real push up, right? <laughs> we we want to do we want to give you a shout out, but it's also to inspire someone else. So if you have a desire to jump on this mic or that mic with me send me a message below we'll make sure that we schedule it we'll make sure we get you up here because we want to hear your story and miss kathy again thank you very much and thank folks you, Matt. that's a wrap so i'm told this is called an in card this is where i'm supposed to get you to like and subscribe and comment and share and all that good stuff and can can you put a can you put a donate button on i mean if you want to donate money just just start pushing buttons i'm good I, I, either way i'm okay if you don't know what all that means i I got nothing for you.